Varmt välkomna till Studio Aiko Live. Idag har vi fin besök i studion. Victor Fischer, welcome to the studio. Thanks very much. <laughs> tack, tack så mycket. Were you Thanks. nervous that I'm going to keep I was, speaking Swedish? <laughs> I, was, I was a bit nervous. I was a bit nervous. I understood that part though. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. when we uh, began we said that we were going to do this in, in English. I think it's it's better for the majority of supporters and uh, people watching. Yeah. yeah, I asked you before, but how is your Swedish? How would you say? Yeah, on a on a scale from from zero to ten, I think it's a two at the moment. <laughs> um, so, understanding it is probably a three or a four, but speaking it is, uh, mm. I, I need some more time. Mm. Yeah, good. Then we'll do it in English. But uh, how um, how have you settled in so far in uh, in Stockholm and in Sweden? Uh, really good. I mean, um, I'm I'm very comfortable. I'm feeling very very good and. I mean the the culture is not far away from from what I'm used to in, in in Denmark at least and people are so nice everybody is is open and warm and I've been I've been welcomed into the club in a in a very very polite and and easy manner so I'm uh, I'm I'm very happy here. Mm. Finally some spring in the air outside. Today. Finally some spring <laughs> in the air yeah. yeah. But we'll see in four or five days when it's snowing again and yeah. It looks like it yeah. might snow again. Uh, yeah, it, it it might it might yeah, yeah. so i was hoping that they're going to take away those small stones everywhere around town, but uh, it might be some time if it's going to snow again. So uh, probably, yeah, yes. yeah. But just wait, maybe a month. Then we, we'll, we we'll give see. it a month. Then you'll we'll see the best side of Stockholm. I've, I've heard that. Yeah, I already think it's very nice, but I've heard that it's 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 just going to get better. <laughs> nice. So uh, you've been with the team for almost two months. Uh, what would you say are your impressions of uh, the the club and the the team? Um, so I think it's. Um, Obviously, historically, it's a big Swedish club. Uh, good traditions, uh, a, 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 a big, I mean, um, self-understanding of being a big club. Um, I think uh, I have heard very positive things about the supporters, and everything I've I've seen until now is is way m more positive than what I've heard. I think the supporters are are, are pretty pretty special, to be honest. Um, So, uh, so that that's something I didn't expect from 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 Swedish football to see supporters like this, mm. um, and um, and then again, it's uh, it's it's still the beginning, and uh, my impression is good, but we're still having this bit of a winter feeling, and mm. uh, now we have the last friendly game on on Saturday before it all starts uh, next week, so so we 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 gotta get going now, but uh, the the impression is is great. Mm. Because before you came, you knew Sotte a bit from Copenhagen, Sotte right? From Copenhagen, uh, but yeah. that was it. Did you know anyone else in the team or everyone? Else I, 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 just by name, I didn't. I didn't know anybody personally. I just mm. knew Sotte from Copenhagen, and mm. uh, and and then I knew some some names, and 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 that's always how it is in in football clubs. You 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 often travel somewhere where where you've uh, never heard about anything, and then uh, in in a few weeks' time, uh, you 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 know everybody and everything and mm. and everybody's background and everybody's qualities and, and and stuff like that so it feels like i've been here for for longer than two months i think but um yeah good good to hear that time is uh, is not <laughs> traveling that fast do you do you like the group yeah i do i do it's a strong group and there's a strong sense of um yeah there, there, there is this sense of family to to the group that is that is really nice and very special that is that is something that i've noticed in in i don't know if that's common for swedish football but i think that aik has a has a has a strong feeling of it's uh, mostly AIK. yeah yeah it's mostly <laughs> AIK, yeah but it, it's 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 pretty special to be honest and and the, the atmosphere in the team is good the atmosphere in the dre dressing room is good i think the atmosphere on the pitch is very good too mm. at least when we win it's 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 extremely good but there's also good things to take from the From the from the from the lost game and 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 the less good games and that's what I feel here. Like you, you really you really spend time together and try to to yeah. to, to to work with things. What were your uh, initial thoughts when AIK first contacted you? What did you think of AIK as a as a club? What did you know about it? I, d I didn't know that much. I, I knew that uh, AIK was uh, for me. It's it's the it's it's the Stockholm club. Um, the, the the two others. I, I didn't know them as well. I, AIK is 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 a traditional club. It's a big name. I think as a as a brand. I think AIK is is the one that you know abroad. And then the last years you uh, you starting to to really know Malmo as well. But mm. AIK has uh, has the history that 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 none other club has. 
uh, at least that that's what I knew. Um, so 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 when uh, when we got in contact with with AIK, it was already interesting because of my situation in Belgium at the at the time. Mm. Um, I, I hadn't played for a long time. I just wanted to play football, and uh, I also wanted to combine that with uh, living in a nice city, if that is possible. And and we both knew that we wanted me and my girlfriend wanted to 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 go here and live in Stockholm and and try that out. So um, yeah, yeah. The the impression was just a traditional club that I know by name, and uh, then uh, then Google does it from there. <laughs> yeah. How was your situation in in Belgium? That was a tough situation. I mean, they they didn't treat me really well, and uh, I um, I had an injury in February that I had to get back from. It took me almost half a year, and when I got back, I needed time, and and they didn't give me that time. And that's that's how football is. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, it, it it's moving fast, and uh, and teams they need results, and uh, they don't always have time to to maybe get back a really good player, maybe not. Uh, so that's how football works. Uh, to how you treat people then is, is, is another matter, but uh, I won't bore you uh, with uh, with that today. It's a, It was a difficult situation and um, yeah, at least the AIK has, has, has saved me from that for, for another 10 months. Because mm. you said when you signed for, for OECO that the club really showed you how much they wanted you yeah. and that will give you confidence on the pitch as well. Yeah. Uh, can you elaborate on what you what you mean by by that? Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's kind of obvious if you feel at home and if you feel good and uh, people are, are acting nice towards you and people are are feeling um, at least showing showing a. Um, their gratitude towards uh, towards you and uh, appreciating that uh, that you are here and and that you got qualities that uh, that uh, that the club can use then uh, then you kind of start to fly and uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's a, a good start for me and and I st I still work very very hard on my physique I, I I can I can be much better I can be much stronger and uh, that's what I'm working on every single day to try and just get the best out of me while I'm uh, while I'm here. Mm. Because you've had a really successful career so far. You've played for Ajax, Middlesbrough, Mainz, Copenhagen. Uh, you've played in the World Cup for uh, for the Danish national team. Um, what can you take from from that your your career and your the experience and bring to Oiko today? Yeah, hopefully I can I can bring some quality. That's that's the main thing. I mean, you can talk and 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 do and uh, do all the talking all the time, but uh, you gotta you gotta act it. And and I'm trying to like, I mean, I I can be kind of a big talker, but I I really try to just act it. Be a good footballer who brings quality to the team and and tries to uh, to uh, to make uh, to make a difference in in, in that matter. Uh, then again, I also think that that some of the young players here can uh, can can improve. I think that uh, AIK is a is a club that wants to bring young players mm -hmm. into the game, but uh, it doesn't come by itself. And there's a lot of young players who can who can uh, sometimes use a, a hand around their shoulder, and sometimes also uh, needs to to take serious that they are being uh, spoken to by. Uh, by a bit older players who, who wants them to do better for for the for the club, but also for themselves. So uh, I hope I can I can help a bit with that as well. Are you when you say you're a big talker? Are you a big talker in the dressing room or on the pitch or, or both? No, I mean I, I get carried away sometimes. My emotions <laughs> can be big, and uh, and and I get carried away, and and I have a lot to say, and sometimes it's uh, it's uh, it's it, 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 I just get carried away. But I'm I'm really trying to, uh, and, and that's something during my career that I'm trying to to always uh, do better, act, act and, 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 and do better uh, than just uh, 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 talking the talk or whatever the <laughs> expression is. Yeah. Mm. When uh, in your career so far would you say have you played your best uh, football? Yeah, that, that's a good question. It always comes in periods and, and, and like, you, like you started out saying, um, I, I, I think I played the best football the places that I've been uh, that I've been having the feeling that I was welcome and that mm. uh, that the club needed my qualities. I had good periods in Ajax. I've had uh, good periods for the Danish national team. I've had good periods for, especially for FC Copenhagen, where I really enjoyed playing football. Um, so uh, so yeah, it's, it 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 comes and goes a bit, and and you always uh, you always try to um, to 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 stay in the momentum of of doing well. 
and uh, and and not uh, being uh, being stuck too much in in, in the bad uh, periods. But obviously, the injuries have not uh, have not uh, made it uh, any easier sometimes, and that's uh, that's the tricky part about football. If you mm. get into injuries and uh, you don't feel like you can uh, express yourself in the way you want to on the pitch because uh, the pain is taking over, mm. and um, that is something that um, that I had to learn in Copenhagen with an injury that that hurt my uh, my foot uh, and 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 honestly uh, helped me back a lot even during games um, so uh, i've learned a lot from that mm. yeah. how is your body feeling today it feels pretty all right mm. yeah um i think it feels better and better at the time and i've i've already played some games and played three from the beginning already mm. came in against uh, vesteros in, in 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 30 minutes and I think I can say that it's doing really well, but I'm always really cautious saying how good I'm doing because mm. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but uh, I'm pretty positive. Are we talking fitness here or are we talking any injuries uh, that we, you still we, feel? We, we're talking both. It's, okay. uh, it's a whole package and uh, I think that uh, it's uh, it's pretty positive. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice to hear. Yeah. Um, how, how would you say that OIC is, is different from the other clubs that you've played for? Is it something that is standing out that you've... Felt from the, from the I mean, there's the, there's a lot of similarities with uh, with certain clubs. I mean, it's got the traditions of a club like Ajax and Copenhagen. To be honest, like the the, the traditions are big. The supporters are are a huge group of of people who's uh, dedicating, uh, if not a whole of their lives, then half of their lives to uh, to to AIK. Uh, that gives a, a certain amount of pressure, but also a responsibility, and and that is the kind of responsibility that I've always been very very fond of, to be honest. Those clubs are the ones that are the nicest to play for. If you know that you are also balancing more than just your own uh, success, you know that, uh, that there are other people who are actually really, really depending on what you do. And, and it's the kind of pressure that is that can be a lot, but it's also what makes it very beautiful. And, and I think that, that AIK ha- has got that in common with, uh, with some of the bigger traditional clubs that, mm. uh, that I've paid for, like, like Ajax and, and, and Copenhagen. Mm. Um, so uh, so that, that, that's, the, that's the positive side. Uh, I mean, negative sides, I, I think, are still, uh, they're, they're still to come. I haven't seen them yet, but um, yeah, yeah. T- training facilities and, uh, <laughs> and, and weather and pitches, they, um, they are not the could best. Could upgrade. They, they are not the best they could be upgraded, mm. uh, but uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. No. Um, how how do you how do you handle that pressure that you're talking about that uh, is coming from the bigger clubs? Yeah, that, that's that's a good question. I mean, it's 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 something you. I mean, if, if sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. I'm I'm not gonna lie. It's it's not that I'm the world champion in in dealing with that. I just try my best every day and I try to uh, to 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 become better for every single. Every single uh, experience that you go through, if it's a hard one or a, or a, or an easy one or a good one or a bad one, you you try to 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 learn from that. I'm not always dealing with that uh, in a perfect manner, but I don't think it's about always how you how you deal with it, but how you react to it afterwards. And um, if you if you if you make up your mind and 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 try to try to think about what you what you go through with a lot of pressure from from supporters and and uh, and and your own teammates and the club and the board and all these things then you won't go very far because it's too many people's expectations to handle on your shoulders so uh, so what you do is you try to uh, stick to what is important and what is important is yourself and your teammates so uh, so deal with it uh, internally in the dressing room uh, when we have meetings, how can we become better? How do we how do we solve these things? What didn't we do good enough? What are we gonna do better next time? And what did we do well? Because there's always good things to take, mm. uh, even in a game like Hammerby, where you lose and everybody is disappointed. Obviously, we might have been the better side, and there's a lot of mm. good things to take into the season from that. So, uh, yeah. I'm not the king of uh, of, of dealing with uh, with pressure, but uh, I'm trying my best. Mm. It feels like you're a reflecting footballer. That you think you think of football and not the just what you're doing on the pitch, but also off the pitch. How much do you think of your performances when you come home and you're when you're not uh, in the dressing room? Yeah, I mean, when I was, I mean, ten years back, I uh, I, I lived through football in a, in a different way, and it wasn't in a healthy way. I thought it was the right way to do it. I was I was constantly uh, 
busy with uh, with with a game that I played the day before, and even like a bad game, I could be busy with that for four or five days, and I I was just really like counting the the minutes and, and hours to the next game so I could make up for a bad game or continue on a momentum from a good game. I'm really trying now to um to 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 like lock a game as as fast as possible, either good or bad. It's not gonna it's not gonna be uh, any different from uh, from overthinking it. So uh reflective, yeah, but I'm 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 actually trying to 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 um also Drop it. And yeah, not yeah. Think try, about try, try to try think to like much. put it in the closet and and yeah. just leave it there for, for 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 forever because um, it won't make it any better. You there, there, there's a there's a certain amount of uh, of analysis that goes into a game and and after a game, but then you also got to leave it and and go on with your life. I mean, it's it's much more than football, and it's it's very important and it's that it's that it's much more than football also to to be a good footballer. I think so. There's a there's a certain balance between when 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 to and when not to. Mm. Yeah, because you were signed as a big star for AIK, of course, and uh, the um, newspaper Expressen in Sweden uh, named you the biggest star in the entire Allsvenskan uh, this season. <laughs> How does that make you feel when we're talking about pressure? Yeah, I, I, I didn't know because I don't search for those things and I try not to be... Uh, to be uh, yeah, um, bothering my head with uh, with those kinds of things. I think it's a it's a it's a positive thing. Mm. I mean, uh, and uh, and then uh, if you don't live up to it, it's a negative thing. But uh, if you are called out as being the biggest name, the chance of 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 also showing that is actually less big than 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 not to. So you should not uh, be too. Uh, too busy with those kinds of uh, of things, but it's a positive thing, uh, and and I'm and I'm happy with that. But um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's obvious, isn't it? I come from from some big clubs. There's a certain amount of expectations uh, to that. The thing is, I don't see myself as a special player coming to AIK. I see myself as a footballer who uh, kind of, I mean, forgot how funny it can be to play football the last year and I just wanted to go somewhere where I have the chance to play mm. and uh, and really try to find myself again as a, as a as a person and as a footballer and I really 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 hope that I can show my level at, at AIK for the sake of AIK and for the sake of myself mm. so I, I'm not dealing with myself as some kind of superstar who's in the who's in the Swedish competition at all I'm just I'm just trying to to enjoy and 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 be the best uh, that I can be in 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 every single game. Mm. So have have you been able to enjoy your football so far? The games against Vesteros, uh, against Östersund, against Hammarby. I think there's been a lot of joy uh, in in those games. I I, I started out. Uh, uh, with a lot of energy against Vesteros, I, yeah, I really, you uh, yeah, were really excited I, to play. <laughs> I really liked coming in that game. It was a, it was a difficult one. We were, I think it was one one at the time I came in. I really hoped that I could get uh, go in and, and make and make a difference. I think I did, and I was just unlucky. That's also football. Like it it it, it hits the crossbar sometimes instead of instead of going in. And um, yeah, I mean that was just. I remember an interview afterwards where they were focused on the. Um, on the shot that I took on the on the crossbar, and uh, and I, I had a I had a positive feeling that the next game I was going to score. So uh, that was a, that was a feeling I brought to Östersund, and and I and I was lucky scoring two goals and and continuing uh, uh, to 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 jo- to enjoy playing uh, playing football. Then we played against uh, Varberg at uh, at, at Hütteholm, which was a difficult game because of of the the grass, the, the artificial grass pitch, and. And uh, and the cold, but uh, we dealt with that really well and, and played a good game in many ways. And I think one of the better games that we played was definitely against Hammarby, but we didn't get the result because, yeah, you you can't uh, you can't give away two goals and uh, and expect to win away against uh, Hammarby. So, um, but there was a lot of positive things to take. So, um, mm. it it's it's been joyful. It, it's been joyful so uh, so far, and uh, I think the best is still yet to come. Yeah. Mm. How would you describe yourself as a football player? Um, I mean, on my best days, uh, very uh, energetic, um, uh, bringing a lot of uh, energy to a team, hopefully also a lot of uh, quality on the ball, 
I want to have the ball. Uh, I want to, uh, to to try and make my uh, my teammates better by uh, playing them in their strengths and uh, and 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 try to try to come with some kind of positive attitude. Sometimes it's it, it's it's not as positive as I would like it to be, but really like show the energy and the character that I think that every footballer around me needs to see uh, in order to, uh, to to get the best out of themselves. So um, that's at least what I try to be when I try to be at my best. Uh, and uh, sometimes it succeeds and sometimes not. Because mm -hmm. there have been a lot of discussions regarding your position where we're on the pitch that you should play, uh, yeah. whether it's best to, for you to play as a number 10 behind uh, John and Omar, yeah. uh, or if you should play up next to one of them or maybe even on the on the wing um, yeah. what do you prefer i have a lot of confidence in uh, in the coach's decision so um, the thing with modern football is you have coaches who sees everything they see every single minute of every single game they they do analysis of everything and uh, i have a pretty big uh, uh, confidence in a coach saying today you play here uh, and uh, the next game saying today you play here because uh, I believe that they are trying to do what is best for the team and uh, try to put me in this case in a position where I can be best on the day so uh, I'm not so bothered with uh, exactly what position I see myself in I think uh, the the there's there's uh, there's good things and bad things about all the positions that I can play and uh, Playing as a striker next to Jon or Omar, I've played next to Jon, and I think it's been uh, it's been pretty successful so far. I think mm. we we find each other really well. He's a he's a really uh, talented footballer, and uh, and uh, it can also be a great advantage uh, to play um, beneath uh, Omar and uh, and and uh, and Jon, who who gives the team something else. Sometimes maybe later in a game or or whatever, but. Um, I'm not so concerned and I don't bother myself so much with uh, which position I, I see myself in because uh, that would also mean that any single time that uh, that uh, Brennan puts me in in another position than the one that I uh, that I like then uh, I'm not satisfied and I go into a game with a bad feeling and that's not what I what I want to do so um, I play the position that I'm uh, given. Okay. So yeah. you don't you don't see yourself as a striker or as a midfielder or I I'd rather see myself as a striker than as a midfielder but I mean, uh, really regarding the position, if it's a 10 or a 9 or a winger, I see that as a striker and not as a, as a midfielder. So that's, that's where I see myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much have you spoken to uh, Brennan about your role in the, in the team? Um, both not so much and a lot at the same time. And for me, that says a lot about the... Uh, uh, the responsibility that he gives me. I think he sees my qualities uh, both as a player but also as a human being. I think that that he doesn't need to tell me um, so many things all the time but I think whenever it's uh, it's important, whenever he needs to do analysis on, on what we've done or what we're going to do, uh, we, uh, we talk uh, and we have a good conversation. He's a very, very... Um, I mean, he, he's one of those uh, coaches who is very good at communicating. He's, uh, he's very uh, warm in his communication and he is uh, seeing more than just uh, the game of football. And I think that's, um, that's something that I hope that uh, people are, are very, are very uh, appreciative of because uh, that's, uh, that's not always the case in football, but uh, he's, uh, he's good at that. So um, I, uh, I have a good contact with, uh, with, uh, with the coach and the assistant as well and, uh, and the uh, second assistant and the goalkeeper coach and mm. everybody who, who's, who's, got a, who's got a vision on, uh, on how, uh, how we can play better. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's what I've heard as well, that you've been communicating a lot with the guys in the team, that you've come into the team and really been enjoying the atmosphere yeah, around yeah, I, you. I, I, tr I try to. I mean, I, I want to get involved. I, uh, I'm not going to sit in the corner and just uh, go out and play and go in again. That's not how I work as a, as a human being. So um, that's that's how I like it. Yeah. And I think that uh, the, the the dressing room has been very welcoming of that. So um, that's been positive. Nice. Yeah, because yeah, Brennan has played uh, three five two. He's played uh, where he's put Haliti in the midfield. It's been yeah. some different systems um, and I guess that you you adjust to the system that you play but uh, what system do you think that brings out the best uh, from you? 
That's actually a good question because once again, I mean, it's it's for me. Let's say I play as a as a striker together with uh, either Jon or, or mm. Omar. Then uh, then uh, three five uh, two or four four two doesn't make the biggest of a difference because you play with two strikers. Mm. As soon as you only play with one striker, let's say you play 4-3-3, three, three, then it is probably better for me to play around the striker and then I need to to, to play a little bit different role because it, it takes a, a bit of a physically stronger striker to, to play that position. So, uh, so I, I mean, once again, I, I, don't, I don't see it that black and white. I, I don't like to think of anything black and white in that, in that matter because uh, it's also pretty, um, how do you say that? I mean, I, I don't like to uh, re reduce things to just being um, at its best mm -hmm. in one way because that would mean that a lot of options uh, would necessarily have to be worse and that is... Uh, that is that is a bad way of, of living life and playing football because at, at some point the the things that you don't want they will appear and they will occur and 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 you have to deal with that as well so I think uh, all these systems are, are interesting and I think in modern football you need to be able to play all these systems because the opponent mm -hmm. will most likely watch the game and say okay today we do it like this and you always have to be able to react and uh, and act on on what is going on around you in, in in modern football so you see football teams in modern football even in one game switching from one to second uh, to a second to a third system mm. during one game and that's just how it's how it's becoming so it it asks a lot more of, uh, of footballers but uh, um, yeah I'm, I'm ready for that task <laughs> i try to be yeah <laughs> would you like to be a coach in the future i don't think so when I'm hearing you talk about football, it just sounds like you. No, but I've, I've, it, I guess it's just because I've been in the game for okay. a long time, and you okay. you hear a lot. And if you listen, then uh, I mean, if I if I wasn't able to say this after ten years as a professional, and and I don't know twenty years as just a a, a football lover, then uh, then I would uh, I would feel ashamed that I never listened. So I, I don't I, I don't th I don't know. We'll see. I yeah. don't don't. Yeah, I, I would never say yes or no to that before. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. How much do you watch football? Uh, at home? Um, I actually used to watch football a lot more than I do now, but now I'm more selective of uh, which games I, I want to watch. If it's a national team game, uh, I, I watch it. If it's a good uh, Champions League game or a good Premier League game, I watch it as well. Mm. I have a certain, some, some specific teams that I follow. I like to watch Ajax play. I love to watch uh, Copenhagen play. I love to, uh, to watch the, 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 the different uh, uh, top teams of the world play. Mm. But I am, I'm, 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 I'm not going to say that I'm watching uh, Sampdoria play against uh, Sassuolo in the, in the Italian league at no. uh, 2 o'clock on a Saturday. I'd, I'd rather be in the sun drinking a cup coffee with my girlfriend. Okay, sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, you scored uh, two goals, as you mentioned, against uh, Östersund. Points-wise, uh, goals and assists, uh, how much can we expect from you, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> Points-wise, I don't know. I, I think you just take the, uh, you sum up the, uh, my career uh, points uh, as a uh, as a whole, and then you uh, then you make the uh, mathematician, uh, okay. yeah, and then you see. I uh, I, I hope that I can uh, that I can really, yeah, give the teams, or give this team a, a lot of uh, a lot of points. Um, what to expect? I I don't know. I mean, uh, if I find the rhythm, I I really really think that I can uh, that I can give this team uh, some 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 goals and some assists and and also some second assists. I mean, that's also important to look at uh, who's uh, who's giving the uh, maybe the the, the most. I mean, important. Pass. The brains behind the. Yeah, yeah. There's always a, a second goal. assist and a third assist, and mm. so uh, so. Um, th there's a lot of ways to be involved in a football game, even though you don't see it on 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 the on the score sheet uh, all the time. What to expect? I, I I don't know. I just really hope that uh, I can uh, I can reach a level that I am satisfied with, and when I do that, I'm I'm quite sure that uh, I'll have uh, numbers uh, behind my name as well. Because I've, when I've watched you play, uh, that you mentioned, you play with high intensity, a lot of energy. Uh, feels like you try to um, give that to your players as well in, in the team, uh, but also maybe at the ref. <laughs> how much, how much does that affect your game? How much can you stay in your own head and just 
play your game and how much does every everything else the the ref the the, the audience affect you yeah i mean the, the the referee obviously he affects me if he's uh, if he's uh, making bad. bad decisions yeah <laughs> so so i mean it was it, it affected all of us against hammerby that the referee made a, a wrong decision mm. what he does afterwards is he goes out and he says it's wrong then then it's very very easy to accept and say okay he 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 saw it he made a, a bad decision and i think the handball the, on the, the handball on the goal, yeah. the goal. but but there's there, there's a lot of things to that i mean that's also the way football works you see all the um, worst of reaction from players but it's not interesting to uh, to mention the 10 times that i'm having a laugh and a mm. good talk to the referee during the game because that's not interesting no. the the one thing that is interesting is the uh, argue is that is the argument with the referee that's what you see so that's a good uh, connection between me and and referees uh, usually if they don't uh, mess up too bad um and um i don't think it affects my game and i'm very um i'm very aware if things are affecting my game and i try to just chunk my games into five, ten minutes so that I can tell myself, okay, the last five minutes or the last ten minutes were you aware of something that was too much? Okay, switch back okay. to to game mode again. So um, what that, could that be that it, 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 it could be uh, um, a referee that makes a, a, a wrong decision. Mm. An opponent uh, who I uh, do not like the reaction of mm. or uh, a bad um, a bad decision. Most likely it would be a, a mistake or two that I made myself. And you got to be able to just uh, switch back on again and say, okay, that was it. Mm. Now we go into the next 10, 15 minutes of the game where, where, where everything can be switched around again. I've played so many bad football games where I was the... Uh, a game winner uh, on a last minute goal or, or just somewhere during the game and and I I didn't play well but I was the I was the game winner and and at other times I've played really really good games where I didn't get the goal and assist and I was asked hey, you you're not scoring any goals at the okay. moment how are you doing so so it's always like chunking it up and 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 try to just be um be busy with uh, with what you can uh, have an effect on how important is the mental aspect of your game really really important mm. extremely important uh, the, the the clearer the mind, the better the game. There's there's no doubt about that, uh, and uh, I've seen that uh, throughout uh, the years in, in in my football career. That uh, the best games I've played. Um, now nah, that's that's again maybe a little bit too black and white because sometimes a good game is just because the atmosphere and everything around you, the team is playing exactly as you want it to be, and you get the balls that you need to score a goal or two. But um, I mean. Um, the more empty my head is, the better the better the football games I play. So uh, the the I think the mental aspect for me, especially as a as a person and a player who 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 tends to overthink uh, things in uh, in 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 the beginning of my career, I think that has been uh, really 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 important for me to learn how to just leave things out of my head and mm. uh, just try and play football. How do you do that? How do you empty your head before the game? Um, or Could be, the... yeah, but I mean, uh, I've I've had a lot of um, advices from uh, from from educated people, um, coaches, um, mental uh, uh, coaches, uh, psychologists um, that uh, that has helped me throughout the years, and and they've given me uh, tools that I can use, um, and and then again, experience. I mean, experience just. Going into a game, experiencing being very nervous, or because I still get very nervous because it, it means something to mm. me to go on the pitch, and uh, especially for clubs like these where they get under your skin really quickly, and and you want to perform for a team like this. I always I, I already feel like this is a club that I, I really play for. You mm. know, I I, I go out uh, with a black shirt on, and and it's really the club that I play for. Mm. It's not a ten months loan. It's really you know like this is where I'm at. This is the club that I play for. These are my teammates, and these are the, the supporters that I'm playing for. So, uh, so, so this uh, this this tends to come up again and again and again with me. That I, uh, I it it means a lot to me, and uh, and that 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 sometimes uh, takes some tools and some experience to say, okay, right now you might overdo it a little bit. It's still just a football game that you got to go out and and play and do your best in. Mm. And how much uh, energy does the supporters give you in the positive way? Uh, I mean, it's it's. Yeah, when when it's a when it's a good game where the supporters show up, and I haven't had a game yet at at AIK where the supporters don't show up. I mean, there were two hundred supporters in in Östersund, mm. 
people said, no, there's not going to come anybody today. And I was like, there's, there's, there's fucking 200 supporters here. And they were like, yeah, that's nothing. Yeah. So they really meant nothing when they said that, but that's still pretty special. And uh, um, it, it, it's, it's pretty eternal and endless how much energy it gives a team like ours. Uh, and uh, the, the whole uh, thing is always to turn it into something positive and not into something negative because... There's no doubt that at a club like this, you can you can have games where you are behind and the supporters, they expect more. Mm. you got to see the positive sides of that and you got to just keep on daring to play football for them and for yourself and for your teammates. Mm. So, um, how long will you stay? <laughs> <laughs> I will stay for, for, this, uh, for this long period of 10 months, yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But is your ambition to get back out there in the, the bigger leagues in Europe or what? No, but how I, do you see your future? Yeah, that, that's a good question because I see that way different. I am, I'm so much about what is going on right now. I, 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 I would destroy myself if I, if I thought of where will, I, uh, where will I be in half a year or in 10 months. It, it doesn't have my cons concern at all. It doesn't, it, it, it's not my focus at all. I'm, I'm all about Helsingborg on Saturday. Mm. It's it's one of the greatest cliches in in sports and and in, and in football in particularly. It's always the next game, the next game, and it, it, often it, it is something that people just say. But for me right now, it is really like that. I am enjoying that I'm allowed to play football, that my body allows me to play football, that AIK uh, allows me to play football, that the supporters they have they have uh, welcomed me in a in a very very um, special way. I'm just enjoying that uh, and. Um, it wouldn't do any good for me on Saturday against Helsingborg or next week against um, um, I, uh, I was, uh, yeah, uh, Halmstad. Yeah. Halmstad uh, to, uh, to see, that's what I mean. I don't know who we're playing next week because it's Helsingborg <laughs> yeah, on Saturday. Exactly. The, no, but, but, the right um, answer, yeah, but you, don't, yeah, you didn't right. know the answer. Good, 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 good <laughs> actor, good actor over here. Yeah. No, but, but I mean, it's, it's, it wouldn't help me to think further than that because it would uh, take my focus away and it would make me nervous to think about, oh, uh, what's, what's going to come in mm. the future. I don't really mind right now. We just moved in our apartment and we are just settled in with the uh, furniture and we just made our first meal yesterday together, me and my girlfriend, uh, from scratch at home. And I mean, whew, nice. we're, just, uh, we're just settling in here and, uh, and trying, to, trying to become uh, real uh, citizens of Stockholm. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm hearing five years. <laughs> yeah, that's what at you least. heard. Yeah. Yeah. I just heard two more days at least. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. But uh you've already played a, a derby in yeah. Stockholm, yeah. this game against the Hammarby. How how was that? It wasn't at friends, so it wasn't uh, the home fans. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. At least there were a lot of uh, co supporters there, there were of course, of, but yeah. <clears throat> it it was it was um it was a good game. I mean it was the the result was just a very, very uh, disappointing. And, and and pretty dev devastating the way that it happened. And that's how it is. That's also football. You cannot just blame one situation for not winning because we had the chances. Me, myself, I had a big chance uh, in, in late in the game that I that I should have scored on and, and the keeper saved. And, and you know, it's it's it, it was a good game and the atmosphere was was really special. I mean, it's it's um it, it's something special and it matches uh, some of the bigger derbies that I've played uh, uh, around uh, around Europe uh, in a in a pretty sp special way. It was it was a nice game, but I'm really really sure that there is uh, even more special games to come uh, against uh, against them and against uh, the other Stockholm team as well. So it was um, to, to to go into your first derby any place is always difficult because you don't know what to expect. Mm. You don't you don't share the feelings yet of of the uh, AIK uh, supporters and the AIK uh, hardcore players like Milo and uh, and uh, Sot and Kripa and these guys. Uh, but uh, you learn that really quickly. Even like in 90 minutes you kind of learn that uh, these are special games and that is something you will take into the next one. So um, from here, I think these uh, games are just going to be more special for me. Mm. Okay, now we're going to take some questions from uh, the supporters. And really nice. uh, we have uh, a question from uh, Talangfabriken AIK på Twitter. How will you uh, celebrate your first goal against Joe Gordon? Against Joe Gordon? <laughs> yeah, we will see. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I hope there will be a first goal very soon uh, against... Uh, 
uh, your garden, but um, I'm, I'm usually not uh, that much about the celebrations and uh, preparing something. And I, I play too little FIFA to uh, to uh, <laughs> to see all those celebrations. I uh, I get carried away with my emotions. Sometimes I do nothing. Sometimes I I I, I go completely nuts. Um, and um, we'll see about that. Yeah, nice. I I just hope that I will celebrate a goal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thomas Åström, uh, what differences do you see uh, when it comes to training at, at AIK uh, in difference to different clubs that you represented? Uh, speaking of like training volumes, how much you train, the intensity, how you well, how have you trained really? Yeah, I mean the the, the intensity is pretty all right. Uh, I mean I've I've I've. I trained in many different ways, and and each club's got their their own uh, way of of training and and behaving uh, around uh, games and during the week and stuff like that. I think that we have a quite good intensity in what we do here. I think that the pitch that we are training on is is is, and I won't complain, but it's it's having its obstacles uh, mm-hmm. when it comes to giving 100% training as much as you want because it's fatiguing to play on an artificial uh, mm-hmm. grass pitch that is not. As good as uh, as uh, as it is in let's say Östersund or, or Tele2, this one is a little older. So uh, so we 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 we're trying to train our best that we can with uh, with what we have, and I think that most days we succeed in 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 really having a good intensity in what we do. Mm. I think we can increase the uh, the quality in in what we do in trainings and and really try try to um, to up each other's games and uh, and and take it into games as well. But um, most days we are concentrated. We uh, we train to win. People are very very enthusiastic in trainings, and uh, I can tell you that the the keeper coach and uh, the assistant referee, or as the assistant coach who's acting as referees on the trainings, uh, they uh, they will tell you that uh, it's a it's a pretty competitive uh, mm-hmm. uh, environment that we are that we are training in. Yeah. All right. They always trying to say like, no, you do the referees. No, no, you do the referee today. No, no one really wants to take the responsibility no because to. they know that Jan Gedetti is always out there to win. So uh, they know what it means. They know what it means. I'm just gonna open up the app here to see um, uh, the questions in here as well. No. Um, Erik Holm asks you. I read. I read somewhere that Victor cares about architecture. Uh, is it primarily beautiful classical? architecture that he likes and has he found any favorite buildings or areas in Stockholm? <laughs> no, I found any favorite buildings or areas. I mean, I I, I walk a lot around in, in, in town and there's, um, it, it's a beautiful city. I mean, it's it's a beautiful city. Architecturally, it's it's really beautiful. People are looking good. I mean, it's 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 an it's a nice city uh, in, in, in that sense. Um, any any building in particular? I mean, uh, we went. Uh, me and my girlfriend went watching Tosca in in the opera, and and I think that the opera from the mm. inside was the the Kungliga opera. Mm. That, that was that was a pretty uh, special place. Um, but it is an interest that you have. Uh, I don't know, not not really. I mean, okay. I, yeah, is it an? It, I, I'm not studying to become an art architect, <laughs> but I'm I'm looking around. I mean, my eyes are open and I see things, and I I like. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's it, it's it's with I try to listen to music and and watch uh, mm. things and see movies and go to the opera and, and whatever. So uh, so yeah, it's it's it's. I, I wouldn't say that it specifically is an interest of mine, but I am. Uh, my eyes are open. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, we have a question from Jan, Jens Holmlund. You mentioned that uh, people are looking good in Stockholm. He asked you, how, how does it feel to be the best looking player in Allsvenskan? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't, I, 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 how does that feel? I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know I was that, but it, it feels good to, to be me, uh, honestly, because I'm a happy person and uh, I I've, I've, I've have good people around me and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a happy... Uh, I'm a happy person. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Um, Gustav Lange, who's the best player that you've ever played with? Gustav Lange, yes, who's the best player I've ever played yes. with? It's a good question. Um, wow, it's a good question. It's not like I played with a thousand players that were just unbelievable, but every every good player has something... Um, very uh, characteristic and and it's also depending on position uh, and again i mean this is also one of the things that i'm not so black and white with i don't see football like that i don't think that there's one particular player who's better than the other i don't think that uh, 
that uh, that the one who wins the most Grammy uh, awards is the best musician, or the one that takes the Oscar home for best best actor is the best actor. I mean, it's 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 so much more than that. But but the the most consistent players I've played with, I always think is something special. So I would look at players like Christian Eriksen, mm. uh, Simon Kjær, um, um, Frankie de Jong. Mm. Um, oh, I, and, and I yeah and and I definitely forget I, I forget so many when I when I have to yeah. mention them like this but th th there's there's been I played with Daniel Aga as well I always try to I always say Daniel Aga as well because he was uh, he was such a good defender when I came through as a young player and I didn't yeah I think he was hard towards me in a really really healthy way mm. uh, but he also saw my quality as a as a person I think that was at least that was that was what I what I felt, uh, so so he was also. Uh, I, I forget. I, surely yeah. I forget somebody, I but uh, but it's it's difficult to say. Yeah, but there's there's been a lot of good p uh, players. I think the ones that are the most consistent, as I said, who's been good for a long mm. period of time on the highest level. Those are those are special. Any player that you played against? Uh, to be honest, I played against them all. So yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's it's. Um, I can only judge by the games that I played against a particular player in a particular game mm. and uh, we went to uh, to uh, to Barcelona one time and got beaten I think three or four nil and I think Messi scored three times and made one assist and there's there's um, there's something absolutely special about him I also think that Luka Modric is just um, out of this world mm. he's got something in his character and in his way of playing that is just astonishing mm. really an art artistic player to to watch the way he moves the way he passes the ball, it's it's more than just watching a football game. A bit like, I, I guess, Sinadin Zidane used mm. to be in the past or whatever. Messi is like that as well. But Modric is a, is a, is a, is a, is a beautiful player. There's, there's been so many. Mm. Yeah. Uh, two decent players, Messi and Modric. They're, they're decent. To they're decent. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that you've um, wanted to play more for the national team that you've done? Or how, how is your relationship to the, to the Danish national team? No, but I mean, I, I went out of the national team uh, out of a... Uh, just out of a sudden, uh, when I uh, when I um, uh, injured my foot uh, four years ago, and I haven't been back into the national uh, team ever since, and it, it, it's been, I mean, I don't, I don't want to make too big a fuss out of it or anything, but it, it was kind of traumatizing for me because I, I really, really loved playing for the Danish national team, and there was always something in me that thought that 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 had the feeling that I that I I, I belonged there, mm. but I haven't been there for a long time, and it also becomes. A part of your everyday life that okay now you're not counting on playing on the national team anymore um, I mean it's not something that I'm concerned of I don't spend my time um, uh, being uh, being busy with uh, with every single game I play I can play myself into the national team uh, again not at all uh, but uh, I can assure you if uh, if uh, if the national team coach calls I will go <laughs> what did you love about it so much it's it's the highest level. I mean, it's 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 comparing yourself to the best players in the country, and mm. it's also big friendship. We we had a, and I think that the team still does have that, and and I would like to be a part of that. That's also, those are those are my best friends. A, a lot of those mm. players in the team are are my personal best friends that I would go on vacation with or or or, or, or speak on the phone uh, with every every other day or, or, or even every single day sometimes with uh, with, with some of them and um, that's something that you want to be a part of but again you also got to be realistic and see okay am I as good as I used to be when I was called up maybe sometimes maybe not all the time can i get back into a shape and a rhythm with my body where i feel comfortable where i can play every single weekend on a high level maybe it's still realistic only the national team coach knows mm -hmm. if it's uh, realistic but uh, it is special to play for your own uh, for your own country and i'm not i'm not old enough yet to say no it's not something that is that that, that doesn't have my interest and i think yeah. it would be arrogant to say that and uh, and it's even arrogant for me to speak about the, uh, the the national team of Denmark because I don't think it's it's a it's a theme for me right now. And uh, the day that it is, and uh, and and uh, if the day comes that it will be again, I would be uh, very proud and mm. and uh, and happy to uh, to uh, to go back and play. But it shouldn't be my concern right now. It's uh, it's it's daily life that uh, that has my uh, my full focus. Because mm. I realize it's tough. The Danish national team 
is at a really high level right now. Yeah, they are. Right? They are. Yeah, it's a, it's a, really well. For it's, the last it's an incredible of years. team. Uh, it's an incredible atmosphere around the national team. Mm. Um, it even it even got stronger with everything that happened during the Euros with uh, with Christian mm. and and uh, him coming back again and uh, it's 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 special it's really special, I mean um, the World Cup was uh, was uh, very uh, disappointing for for Denmark yep. and it it was it was a disappointing result but let's see tonight if uh, if they're gonna if they're gonna just uh, continue on uh, on uh, on the path that uh, that they have been on for the last four or five years mm. uh, I I think they can it's a good team and. Uh, Obviously, it's something that every Danish player wants to be a part of, if if possible. Who do you play tonight? Do you know? Finland. Finland. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, Kalle Karlsson with a question here. Uh, how far do you have until you've reached like you, the level of where you want to be? You say that you're the, the fitness-wise and injury-wise, yeah. that you yeah. have a bit left. Yeah. How I, far would you say that you feel I mean, that you're fully recovered? Also, that is kind of like it's... It's it's difficult to put a finger on because or, or like to 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 tell in percentages because out of a sudden you get a game where you're like okay I was just as good as I wanted to be it could be it could be uh, against Halmstad it could be uh, home against Hammerby it could be in the tenth game of the season where you feel like okay now I'm back again so it's 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 easier to talk about trying to give the best every single time and uh, and and being able to do that over and over and over again because that's that's what i'm really um, not concerned about but but that has my interest a lot can i play today and again next week and again the week after because uh, consistency in playing that is what what really creates a high level uh, and and that creates um, self uh, self confidence as well mm. so uh, that, that that's still um, there's still uh, some 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 way to go, but um, I don't I don't see it being too far away. And and I am where I am, and I think that every single game you should count me in on the level that I'm showing, and not on a level that I had back in the days so or a level that I can reach. I think it's fair to just every single time saying, okay, was he good or was he bad? Mm. That is uh, that's how it works. Mm. Um, Alex Westlund. That's a question for you. No, Did, no, no uh, uh, women asking questions? No, huh? Not yet, no. Okay, not yet. Not okay. yet. But I'll, I'll see if I can find one. But um, Tuborg or Carlsberg? I, 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 I like, uh, like I said uh, in an interview yeah. after the game in the there's a, there's a sp specific Tuborg that I, that I really like mm. uh, called Ro. R-O. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Mm. That's a good one. Um, but, uh, I mean... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> I, I, I don't think either of them are like really good beers. You know that Carlsberg has their, they, they both have their small independent uh, breweries as well that makes really, really nice beers. Mm. But I'm a, I'm a big uh, fan of Mikela, uh, okay. a, a micro uh, brewery. It, it's so big now that it's not even a micro brewery anymore, but they, they're making some, some, some really nice beers. Two ball Carlsberg, I mean, they, they, I think they're either good. I, I like them both. You like beer in general. I uh, I like a I like a beer. Yeah, yeah. I am a beer drinker. <laughs> nice. Do you have a nickname? I I don't really. I mean, my family calls me Vigo. Vigo. Yeah, Vigo. Vigo. Okay. V e g g o. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Danish nickname for for Victor. It's also a name by itself, but mostly that's mm. the that's the best one that people come up with. But I don't really have a nickname. No. And we've got like I don't know three or four Victors in in AIK right now. When we train and physiotherapists and stuff, so it it can be kind of uh, yeah, Fisher is uh, easy to say. Your last Fisher would yeah. be easy to say. Yeah. yeah, I think you should call up uh, everybody at AIK Football Club and say this man is Fisher <laughs> yeah. and, and and not Victor, because then I could tell myself apart from the young player <laughs> and the physio and whoever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a common Swedish name, Victor. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make the call. Do that. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nasinio is this uh, person's name. Uh, what do you think uh, regarding the younger players? We have uh, Victor Andersson, for example. What do you think of the younger players in the squad? Uh, has anyone um, been impressive or um, impressed you? Um, again, in 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 different ways, there are there are young players who uh, who 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 looks very promising. I mean, and again, for different reasons. 
also for the some some of them for the same reasons, but also for different reasons. I mean, Tihi is uh, is uh, is is a is a good character. Mm. He wants to train. He wants to become better. Um, Taha is a is a talented uh, footballer. I think good technically. Um, they could steal a bit from each other uh, from each other's uh, strength uh, and uh, and 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 try to try to try to become take it even further on their level. Um, um, you, you mentioned Viktor Andersson, who's, who's got a fantastic kick. Uh, he's, he's, he shoots the ball really well. Mm. And again, now I'm, 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 I don't like to tell players apart because I forget somebody who yeah, I also it. really like for some reason, and then they feel like, oh, he didn't, he didn't mention me. I'm, mm. There must be something wrong with me. There, there, there isn't. But um, the, the most important thing is that that we have young players who, who's got uh, who's got qualities, but they always need to be. They always need to be willing to 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 want to train more, to to become better, to show character, because they need to knock on the door. It's not enough to just being pointed out and saying today you play, because that's not how modern football works. You need to uh, to always knock on the door, always try to, you know, um, to be there if uh, if 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 older players are not able to play, or if you can surpass the the older players in quality. So. Uh, that's my advice to them with the qualities and talent they have. Do even more, try even more. Mm. Yeah. Help the team even more by being a pain in the ass who's uh, probably going to send uh, some of uh, the, old, uh, the old idiots to the bench and, <laughs> uh, and, 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 and just because the quality is, uh, is higher. Yeah. Mm. Um, what player in the team do you enjoy the most watching him play? Like if you would be in the stands and watch a game. Okay. If I would be in the stands and watch a game, um, um, I like I like our keeper. I have to say, I think Kripa has a really a, a nonchalant way of yeah. playing, but in a good way. He knows his qualities. I think he's a good keeper with the with the feet and with the hands. Yeah. Um, I think Till has uh, has something very nice as well. Um, I like to uh, to watch, uh, but again now I'm telling people yeah. apart, and I don't <laughs> like it. I like to uh, to the, the stamina of uh, the stamina of uh, uh, Modest uh, Modesto is mm. is, uh, is 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 very nice. He's he's a he's a modern fullback who can go on forever yeah. in 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 a high speed that is that is really really nice to watch as well. And and then again you've got some of the uh, the. Uh, the uh, older guys like Jan, who's just showing qualities every every now and then, and um, and and then you see, okay, there's a reason why these guys they had a they had a great career because they just they just got quality, mm. and uh, and 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 still the will to uh, to win. So um, I've got a lot of players that I that I want to mention, but um, oh, there's something uh, there's something nice about our keeper. I think yeah. he, he's he's got something. He's uh, yeah, he's a good player. Just gonna okay. Um, all right, I, I was browsing through here to find a question from uh, a, a question from a woman. I, I, it's not it's not necessarily that I want one. I was <laughs> just thinking it's it's all curious. the boys' names. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have uh, Agnes Stig's daughter, but her question uh, we've already talked about it. But she was also curious how would you how how you would celebrate your first goal. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, it, it, it will we'll still it, it's yet to come. Yeah. It's yet to come. We'll see about that. Yeah. And I see a lot of questions regarding people hoping for you to stay. Is there any <laughs> hope for you, for us, that you will stay here after the season? Um, yeah, yeah. There's still hope. Ask uh, Manuel Lindberg. Okay. He's uh, he's the guy you got to go to, uh, and uh, and then uh, yeah. But we, we'll see. We'll see what. But you never know the future. You can't predict it. You don't know what's going to be possible. Right now, I, I have to say, probably with the way that the contract is built and everything, it is a bit. Uh, it is a bit of a. Uh, of a hard situation to to prolong, but um, the most important thing is to uh, to do everything I can while I'm here. Who knows that in eight months uh, all the comments are? Could you please uh, leave back to where you came from because they are not satisfied anymore? Mm -hmm. And that's that that's my concern every single day to do my best and try to be really really good and positive for the club so that these comments can still mm. uh, because we live in a world where everything is going uh, is changing rapidly and. Uh, you never know if you are not concentrated and uh, you enjoy these comments too much if uh, in six or seven months they will be the completely opposite. So um, I'm really happy that people um, are asking about it, but um, we'll take it day by day. They enjoyed your first game, your first three games at least. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so difficult to prolong, 
but not impossible. <laughs> Again, you gotta call up somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, good. It was really fun having you here, Victor. It was nice. Thank you for taking the time to come here. Always, always. And uh, good luck. First against Helsingborg, and then when else else can. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, tack till alla som har tittat på det här avsnittet med Victor. Vi rullar vidare med ett nytt avsnitt av Studio Ecolive nästa torsdag klockan tre. Stort tack för idag. Mm.